Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. Last time we pulled the Master Sword from the pedestal. Didn't mean to use that, but that's okay, because now it's going to recharge. Which is probably preferable. It also doesn't take up an inventory slot, which is nice. And speaking of slots, let's go talk to Hestu and upgrade a few things. So, I think... I'm going to upgrade my weapon stash. How much does it cost? 12? Ah, oh, it's a bit expensive, but that's okay. I'm going to just do it and get it done. And then, if I can expand again, if you will let me, can I do my bow stash? My bow stash. Eight. Okay, let's do it. There we go. And that should help me for a little bit more. That's all I can do right now. So, now that that's done, let's head over. Oh, I want to get that one, I think. Let's go get that one. It's not that far from the tower, so we can probably just glide to it. Oh, it's cold up here, so I better jump off quickly. Let's head towards this one over here. Oh, and there's also a stable right down there as well that I didn't actually see before. Well, I'll take a look at that whenever I can then. So yeah, you're supposed to go along that path, I guess, at some point. Oh, that's actually right along the path that was over t t t t t the uh, citadel, so I definitely could have done that. Just head on down here. And let's go in. Ah, apparatus. Let's go. So, we can move these all by sliding them. I think. Most of them. Hang on. Let's do a bit of that, and then a bit of that, and then hopefully... Hopefully... Oh, this is not going to work at all, is it? Let's go with that and see if that works. Oh, okay. I'm gonna... Ow! Um, let's go Shika Sensor for treasure chests in here while we're here. And let's have a look around. Oh, there's one in this way. What does this do? Okay, it does that. Cool, just run. Okay, I might want to hit that again. Oh, I need to actually equip a bow now that I've de-equipped everything in the universe. Let's go. And I can see that platform there. Which is what I need to use to get to the treasure chest. So, let's hit that one more time. And let's... Jump on. I don't know what just happened. Okay. If that's the way it's going to be. Okay, where is it now? It's there still. Okay. Uh, duplex bow is badly damaged and it's broke. So let's try this again. And this time I'm going to actually try not to fall through the platform. Oh, that was nearly bad. Oh, okay, breathing again. Silver scale spear. I don't think we've seen this before. The most skilled Zora fighters wield this spear. Its beautiful fish tail design uh, belies its impressive strength. The spearhead can pierce even the toughest scales. Cool. Let's drop it. And take a picture. Okay, there we go. Let's see, is that every chest in here? That is. That's impressive. Oh, but there's another apparatus, so let's go have a look at this. Oh my goodness, okay. Doesn't look too hard though. 
We just need to get the orbs into their little positions and then have it angled correctly. And it opens the door. Simple enough. I'm glad I was going for hearts for recent times for trying to get the Master Sword because now I just have more health and it's going a lot better for me. Especially with healing items. Okay, let's have a quick look at this stable. Imagine there'll be a few uh, quests for us to have a look at. Oh, it's a Blood Moon. It's been such a long time since I've seen one of those. They're usually a lot more common, which they are still way more common than they need to be. But yeah, it's 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 been a little while since we've last had one. Here we are at the stable. So, let's have a look inside. There's Beetle, and there's another meal that I can just have a look at. Ah, go away. Be gone. Banished to the... ...to the realm of Skip. Okay. Let's take a picture of this. Looks like a pie-type thing. Very nice. I'm pro probably never going to cook any of them, but I wanted to just show them, so if you wanted to make them yourself, you could... ...pause the video and do it. I guess. What have you got, Beetle? So... In this area, Beetle actually sells... Fireproof Lizards and Hearty Lizards. I think Fireproof is the more common one around this region, though. So let's buy two of those. Just because we're gonna actually need them. Oh, can I only buy... Yeah, I can only buy one because I don't have enough rupees. That's unfortunate. Um, I also just have one already, so I might not need this, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just... So I can be maxed out. I could also sell some stuff, but I kind of need materials for upgrading things as well. Uh, do you have... Is there no quests around here that I need to worry about? That might be the case. Also, I think this is a new type of weapon. <laughs> nope, it's a wooden mop. Okay, cool. It's the same as the other one. Is there... An... Okay, there's a, there is a few people around. What do you want? I'm just hanging out. We'll see about that. Hmm, what's that? What have you got there? That's Amaranth. Or Amaranth, isn't it? Could you, um, maybe give me some? Okay. Thank you. For you to be walking around with my favorite plant, it seems you and I uh, may just get along after all. That said, Akala is famous for, well, nothing. So I have to ask, what could you possibly come here for? I'm a traveler. I see. A traveler, eh? In that case, I have a request for you. My little sister, Gleema, is a huge fan of insects, I know. I don't get it either. But apparently, there's a certain insect she's dying to see in real life. She won't tell me about it, though. I suppose there are some things you just can't talk about with those you're closest to. Anyway, would you mind uh, talking to her and f trying to figure out which uh, silly insect she's crazy so crazy about? It's for her birthday. Think of it as a special birthday favor. Oh. Or even a birthday request. Or a birthday quest. Look, just do it, okay? Okay. We'll have to do that then. Um. Is that really everything then? There's not a lot here to look at. Which I suppose is good. I still want to find a treasure chest without having game... Oh, there's also no dog here, I don't think, so there's not going to be a treasure chest. I did it. I'm good at this. Um... So I think... that she's... this one? Yes. So sleepy. It's not early enough to talk to her, though. Let me quickly change the time with the fire that's over here. Since I can. Probably don't take advantage of changing time enough. There we go. Now, let's see. Is she gonna get up? 
Nope. Okay then. I might just come back to this later since it's a quest that I don't really need to worry about. I have a more important quest to look at, which is going to be way over here. And it's also not going to be a quest, it's mostly just going to be talking around that stable and then moving on from there. Okay, so... Let's see what's around here before we go any further up the road. No issues to report. Good morning. I've been on patrol duty lately. The name's Ho Hoz. Jeez, it's gotten dangerous around here lately. It has? Yes. Recently I've been hearing about a, suspi a suspicious guy named Kilton. He runs a shop called Fang and Bone. They say he goes around pushing some kind of cart night after night. He's been making people around here uncomfortable with his suspicious and otherworldly activity. Do you know Kilton? No, I don't. I see. Well, if you see any suspicious people, please tell me what they look like in detail. Really, if you see this Kilton character, please just please tell me all the juicy details. I'm counting on you. It sounds like you just want to go see him. Good morning. Hmm? I haven't seen you around here. Boy, you sure have strange tastes. Uh, do you like someone who has traveled willy-nilly all over the world? Who are you? Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Nobo. I've travel traveled everywhere, but at the end of the day, I like a color the best. That's why I'm pretty familiar with stuff around here. There, is there something you want to know? Uh, this area? Let's see, if you go west of the stable, there's a sacred place called the Spring of Power. Offer the sacred article to the Spring of Power. That's what the legend says. Maybe it was part of a ritual the Princess of Hyrule used to perform. Anything else? Further areas? There's a lighthouse looking home north of here. No one was there when I last stopped by, though. Okay, goodbye. See ya. So, from that, we get the Spring of Power. And I don't know if we're gonna have anything else. I don't know if I saw this before or not. I'm gonna just take a screenshot anyway. And it looks like that's everything here. I probably took a picture of it already. So, let's have a look at that lighthouse-looking thing that she was mentioning. Oh, and I can actually take a horse out for this. Let's do that. Oh, and there's also a dog here. Uh, take horse. Let's go, John. I would like to actually get more horses than this, but I haven't really run into any when I'm not on a horse already. Okay, let's go. Also, I feel like there's also a Korok around here that I could possibly get if I tried, but for now let's actually focus on what we're doing. Now, I believe we actually have a quest for this. Robbie's research. After all the, this time, probably like 40, 50 episodes, I think? We're finally gonna comp get to it. <laughs> Basically. Oh, there's a few things around here. Oh, is that a horse? No, that's a boar. I should have taken a picture of it, though. Now, there is a dangerous thing to be wary about here, and that's this uh, guardian right there. Don't hurt me and my horse. Go faster. <laughs> that one could have been bad. Anyway, Akala Ancient Tech Lab. This place may look kind of familiar in some ways. Oh my goodness, let's go in. It's... and... it's... Hi. Hey you! What are you doing here? Mm. Hmm. Hmm? Oh. 
Are you the one called Link? Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's too bad. If you were the legendary Link, there would be something important I'd need to tell you. Did I say no? But how can I de determine with full certainty whether or not you are the true hero? Yes, how indeed. Hmm. Yes, if, if you can show me the wounds your body suffered a hundred years ago, that should prove you are truly Link. Uh... Okay, if you say so. Hmm, yes, the number of scars in your body. Just as I remember. Most seem to have healed, but they do line up with the scars I know you got during the Great Calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm, yes, I acknowledge you as the real Link. So let us begin again. I am the lead Guardian Researcher and Director of the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Doctor... Robbie. In any case, I'm... I really am impressed that you made it all the way out to this rather remote location. Did you perchance meet Pora and borrow her power? Who's Pora? Oh my goodness, game. I met a child. Why can I not just say the facts? Hmm? Para? A child? What? She really has a kid? Hmm? Or do you mean that Pura's age backward? And she is now a child. Pura got younger. Huh? Are you certain? Hmm. So she's as crazy as ever. Okie dokie. Knowing her, I'm guessing you, she screwed up some experiment. Hmm, hmm, yes, typical. Let us return to the subject at hand, hmm? Did you know that the Clowty is regaining its power? Uh, I know. Hmm, I see. Then I don't need to tell you my story. Uh, just tell me anyway. Hmm, yes, I see. In that case, the goal of the Ashika Research Lab is simple, really. We aim to destroy the Calamity that has endured across time. To rid Hyrule of its dark influence, and above all, to rescue Princess Zelda, who is now a prisoner of the Calamity. We have worked ourselves to the bone, conducting our research for a time I feared I'd pass before we could prevail. However, you, Link, managed to awaken before this old sack of flesh gave out. That means... The time is now. Hmm, yes, yes. You, now is the time to join forces with us, Shika, yes? We must destroy calam the, the Calamity. Let's do it. Yes, that is correct. You and I are going to join forces to put an end to the, to the Calamity. And on that note, sorry for the long uh, pre preamble, but I'd like to provide you with some ancient soldier gear. Mm-hmm. Did you catch that? Cherry, um, the ancient oven creates ancient soldier gear, but I fear she's out of, out of sorts at the moment. Hmm. I'm afraid someone will have to bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace again. Uh, need to get the furnace outside lit. Hang on. Okay, uh, we're gonna need this torch then, which means I have to throw something out, which is probably gonna be the, the silver scale trident thing, or spear. Do you have anything to say? Yeah. Morning! And... Hey. Check it out! How was that? I figured I'd give an impression of Hateno Ancient Tech Lab's director, Pura, a shot. Maybe it was a bit much for the first time meeting you, though. Yes. Link, don't worry about it. It's all okay. So, what do you need from me? Who are you? Hey, uh, I'm Jaren. Oh. Check it out. I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history, to be honest. I've been focusing a lot on r my research on shrines. Mm -hmm. Oh, that reminds me, Link. There's somewhere you need to go. Um, the left eye of Skull Lake. I know there's a shrine there, but it's a challenge to get to it. 
The other side of Skull Lake is higher up. Uh, the, the right one is lower down. If you run into Kilton, you're on the wrong eye. Have you got any other questions? Tell me about Robbie. Oh my goodness, the eye thing's moving in different directions. Robbie is one of the researchers of ancient civilizations. He was studying guardians at Hyrule Castle a hundred years ago. Oh, Robbie, we're a half, we're half a century apart, age-wise, but we never let that get in the way. He and I are married. You're married? <laughs> yes, indeed. Together we run the ancient Akala Ancient Tech Lab. I've got a son as well. Have you got any other questions? Your son? That's right. I've got a, I've got one son. His name is Grante. Have you seen him in his travel? Your travels? I don't think so. Really? Well, if you see him, be nice to him, okay? And that's about all for now. So let's say goodbye and let's go. So we can see Skull Lake on our map. We need to go to the right. Well. I can't remember which one of these, but I believe it's this one since it's technically higher up, so that's that's where we need to go for that. It's also where the skull and bone is supposed to be. But for now, let's go take a look at the blue flame. Also, around this area, I think it's further this way, is a big pile of guardians, which you can usually get lots of extra parts from if you need to, so. And I believe somewhere in here, somewhere in here, is probably at the very top of this actually, is, no, um, I'm like, oh there, over here is a rock, if I can pick it up please. And it's a Korok. So there we go. Other reasons to go to this pile of junk. Please grab that. No, don't do that. Okay, did I also... Yeah, I did grab the torch. That's good. If I miss the torch, then I would have big problems. Oh, it's raining. Also, I should probably put on some armor. So I'm not just running around defenseless. Oh, that's not how that works. That's... Okay. So I could equip that for more if I needed it. Anyway. Oh, there's an actual path here? Oh, these are... Talus. Talus to Peblets. Stone Peblets, they're just the same thing, just different names. No, same thing, different looks. That's the one. Yep. Gotta grab some of this amber from them. Now, we have where the blue flame is on our map, which we can see over there. Well, so I'm gonna get rid of the chest thing because that's gonna annoy me. Please go away. Thank you. Let's head in that direction. Oh, it's raining though. It's still raining. It's a shame about it raining right now. But once we go over here, there's actually some fairly strong enemies roaming around, so we're gonna have to be very careful. Especially once we start actually getting the, um... The, what's it called? The... Uh, the blue flame, because it's gonna be difficult to... Uh, not die and still carry the blue flame. Freeze! That's one down. Let's get the other one. Just like that. And let's try and get their guts because I need them for upgrades stuff. Oh, he didn't even drop any. That's a shame. Okay. Well, here's the ancient furnace, I guess. Um, I need to switch up to this. Now, I don't know if I can actually... Can I carry this in the rain? I'm pretty sure I can. Yes, okay. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. So I need to wait for it to stop raining. And that's going to take forever. Sadly. That's very unfortunate, actually. We can at least have a look around. Go up, please. Go up, Link. I command you. 
It's easier to climb when you're not jumping. But you still have to jump a little bit, I think. Maybe. Or maybe not. Can I actually see what's over there from here? Not really. That's okay. Uh, having rain just randomly is really annoying. Here, let me... Let me do this. Just like that, and then it should be in a good spot to actually... Uh, sleep, probably. And hopefully it's not raining tomorrow. It's... it just got worse. Why did it just get worse? Can I... Oh my goodness, please. A light thing. Noon. Of course it would go to, from rain to thunderstorm. Okay. We have sun for much time. Let's start lighting some of these up. We don't need to light them up, but it means it's easier if we lose progress to re-gain where we were up to. Like, if, if, if the torch goes out, we can go back to the most recent lantern that we light. So let's see how this goes. There's going to be monsters around to make things a little bit more annoying. Can I not light the leaves on fire? That's kind of disappointing, actually. there a lantern around here? Looks like it's further around, though. A little bit of stealth is probably good for this. Just a little bit. Okay, there's a lantern there. Let's see if I can get to it quickly. Well, it's not looking. Like that. Let's keep going. Which way am I going? Uh, I think it's this way. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he saw me. Does this path go down? Kind of. Straight down. Oh, but it goes straight down to another lantern. I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to go. But I'm going to take it. Because it makes life easier. Oh, run. Just run. This is fine. There's another torch up there as well. And the goblins there as well. There's a lot of things. Also, just remember there's that, um... The Guardian right out front as well to worry about. Oh my goodness. Just, they're gonna get me. Oh, and there's more enemies as well. What is that? Oh, that's another lantern. I should probably have lit that, but it's not that far away from the one before it anyway. Also, I believe there's also a lantern down at the stable that we're at before. Just, just dodge, just dodge, just dodge, just dodge. I don't even care about lighting all the lanterns here. I don't think it's going to do anything. I think I left him. Yes. Well, let's set the... Let's... Oh, my goodness. Why is there this guy here now? Well, that's not good. Why does the game just love spawning enemies all the time? I don't know. Anyway. Now, once we get up to this... Um, this uh, Guardian, I think I'm going to try and use Urbosa's Fury. What was that sound? Go! Okay, that's dead. Good. I might try to grab its parts. I hopefully won't put away my thing by accident. There we go. That's that's why it's good to have Obosa's Fury. <laughs> because you can just take out Guardians like that. As l at least the, the weaker ones. Probably the, the Stalker ones you can probably take out in three, maybe two. Little burning everything. 
I'm okay with burning everything. It's fun. Creating some updraft. Man, let's light this furnace. Akala Ancient Tech Lab has been added to your map as a travel gate. Thank goodness we can now teleport here. But anyway, that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.